has been a while, and we are live and in person. We're not we're not live, but we're live. Well, live? I'm, I'm alive. Well, we are alive. Not alive. to be confused with Wait. the ending theme of Black Butler. We're here wow, for we some are. more ranking of uh, all of the anime I've ever seen. Uh, not what they've seen, what yeah. I've seen. Let me take you on a journey to before I decided to come up with the series. A backstory, if you will, on oh. why these guys are even here. Woo! You may not know this, but a couple years ago, 2020-ish, the world kind of shut down, and uh, I lived a lot closer to these homeboys. So, they would come up at least once a month. He'd come up two to three times a month for like a full week each yeah, time. Yeah, it was a lot. I came up like every other week. <laughs> so we watched a lot of shows together yep. and I felt it would be wrong to not have them included. Now, yeah, I can proudly say that we finally finished a show that took us years to finish just one arc. Oh, where was he going with this? Oh, where it happens all the time. We was... were watching plenty of shows. We got through all the short ones, all the 12 episode ones. We got through a lot of the uh, 24 episode ones. Uh -huh. Yep. But then we thought about taking on Hunter Hunter. So we finally finished it while we were on vacation. Yeah. Which is why I'm happy to announce that we are going to be giving this show... Oh. <clears throat> a B tier. Just what? kidding, it's oh, an okay. S tier. <laughs> you scared me. You it scared is, me. It is, a, it, is, it is absolutely an S tier. That is that, S tier, baby. And Ant Arc is amazing. It's good. It is really good. At me if you feel like it. It's I, super long, but it's uh, really it, good. Yeah. It is super long. I we both kind of we all kind of agree that it would have been good as like its own separate story as an addition yeah. to the whole Hunter Hunter arc. The whole uh, the whole the whole everything. Uh, you do need it for like certain characters and uh, stuff like that. There's yeah. important things that happen yeah. that make the final season make sense. But you could also have just trimmed that out and focused more on the spiders. We, we could have just seen more because the spiders kind of just end abruptly. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of season do. three. And, and they it, show up in the middle of the Antarctic. And Antarctic. Karapi is kind of just gone. I mean, they have shots of, of him just kind of wallowing Spoilers. in self pity, but I have no idea what the what point of doing. that was. Yeah. yeah, nothing. Also, Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> We're going to try not to get into heavy spoilers, but there are spoilers in here. There will be spoilers. We're going to try We're not to, it. but there's going to be a little bit. We get Giving you our helps. honest, our honest thoughts. But great. Hisoka great is my husbando for life. He Hisoka, absolutely wonderful. Fun. God, I love I, Hisoka. I really like that show. That's true for sure. Great show. 10 out of 10. Is when I think about doing things... That take a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, a long time. A long time. This segue is gonna suck. But basically, terrible segue. It's there's okay. this show that I have tried so hard to watch, <laughs> so very, very hard to so watch. Long. Oh god! And, I, and every year I go back to it. And go, oh no, it can't be that bad. Mm -hmm. Episode mm -hmm. one can't be that bad. I get through the first part and into the song, the theme song. Theme song's banging. Beginning is fine. But then I get five minutes in, f a full five minutes in the show, and I wow. have to turn it off. I cannot stand it. And that show is k -on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people like this show. It's very musical. It's us. It's us. I can't stand it. I haven't seen it. I have to give it an F tier. We have, have in it. fact, not tried once. Not tried twice. Not tried three times. I think five times. And you know what? You know what? Let's give it a sixth time. A sixth time. <laughs> sixth time, right? Five. Here. Okay. I just don't want to keep watching. Yeah. It's just I want to I want to stop. I I just I don't want to watch this show. It makes me not want to watch it. It's mainly I think it is the English dub of this. The English dub it probably just sucks. It's probably, probably. better in probably. Japanese, but this is just like But my but yeah. my rating of the English dub F is is F tier currently. Speaking of F tier shows that are definitely F tier. F F F So Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy. Whoa. Speaking of F tier, there's this show that 
a the show? two of us watched. Oh boy! And it it was easily the worst show I've ever. Oh seen no! <laughs> the worst thing ever. It terrible. It the three D animation was kind of cool when it came to the Borg looking thing. Other than that. It was so boring, there was no story to tell, there was no bad guy until the last two episodes, yep. and the well, they kept repeating the same words, and, and there's no way that the Japanese is better, the, the story just flat out I, is Yeah, bad. I doubt. And that show is called Kado the Right Answer. This is truly Gross. awful. Gross. This is, this is, this is bad. I, uh, it, mm -mm. They they made up a lot of words and never used them for anything. Mm -hmm. They made more new tech. It's like, oh, there's great new tech, and here's this word that you never heard before for it, and never brought it up again, and it never was important to the plot. Yeah, it's all Gross. about like eighty sixth dimensional being coming to our dimension to give us stuff because it has because they just have a surplus of everything. Yep. But turns out it's like actually we want to just. Um, Take you back to our dimension, I guess. That's yeah, so late. no, it's yeah, it didn't, it doesn't make any sense. I finished watching this and went, Wow, that's time I will never get back. So, what you're telling me is I should never watch this, don't show. watch never, that show ever. Okay, there's didn't... nothing redeeming about it. Okay, you heard it here first, yeah. folks. Don't watch that show. Nothing, it, it, nothing, nothing good, nothing good. I wanted to rate Mob Psycho 100, this was on here, but I just found out there's a oh, yeah, there's just third a season. season. And now I haven't seen it. But uh, I'll let you know if it ever changes. But currently, Mob Psycho 100 gets a... I've only watched the first three or four episodes. Uh, so. It's hard to say. I'm torn between a B and an A tier. I'll let you know what it ends up being after I watch season three. But uh, I I'm torn. It's really funny. I would give it an A tier, but the question is, does it belong with all of these other shows that are in this tier bracket? No. Maybe him and I... I don't know. I haven't seen it. He'll finish season three, and maybe I'll finish the whole show one day after one of these days. In 20 years? Yeah, probably. Yep. I like to start a lot of shows, and then just take forever to go back to finish them. Usually, if I ask you you've seen something, you'll say, oh, yeah, I saw it. You know, like, the whole thing. Like, no, it's, like, the first episode. Yeah, like, usually I'll say, like, the first two or three episodes. I didn't watch that show, but you know a show that I've seen... Over and and over again because it's dumb funny. Uh, that would be life lessons with Urumi. Oh Yonasan. yes, this show is crazy. <laughs> it's all funny. You, all you have it's to funny. do is look it up and watch the first episode, and that is just the tone for the entire thing. Yep, it is a bunch of thirty-something-year-olds who work for a television station for children. They don't work oh. for children, yes. but they uh, with. they work for a television studio that is kind of like I don't know what the Wiggles yeah Sesame <laughs> or, yeah, or Se Sesame. well, well Wiggles, is, Sesame Wiggles is a good one I would say Wiggles or um, any other like live action Disney Junior uh, Nick mm -hmm, Junior mm -hmm. show yeah. I was about to say There's Teletubbies the and place. then yeah. yeah Teletubbies Barney but like if you removed Barney, all yeah. of the facade and it's all the background and it is so funny all of the, it's just so dumb. It is so dumb. I still, I'm going to give it a B tier. Uh, yeah. I think, I think it's a good mm -hmm. B tier show. It's, it's worth watching once. I wouldn't say watching it multiple times was good. It was really good, like, if you're going to show it to somebody else. Yeah. But it doesn't have rewatchability uh, alone. I think them. it really starts out good and then kind of peters off. So it gets, it starts out like an A and then moves to a B because it's just the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't is just the change. Same. It has a few, few key bits that, mm -hmm. that are good. Now, here's a show that everybody likes for its comedy, and that also kind of has the same thing, where it, it's good, and then it dips, and then the end kind of dips back up again, and it's got it's got that, that sign, or reverse sign, cosine, is that? I don't know. Sign. I was, sign. did not pay attention in math. And that would be the English dub for ghost stories. Oh my gosh! Has anyone seen this besides me? Yeah. No. Wait. <laughs> the whole thing. Have you seen ghost stories? Didn't we watch it together? Oh yeah, it's great. This I this think it's is an a. this is really funny. I think it's an A. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna give it an A. That's it fair. wasn't. It, I'm gonna give it a B for sure. It is a solid B, but I think that Ghost Stories, like a lot of the mid section, had a like for mm -hmm. twenty some episodes, I believe. It it was had a really funny beginning and a really funny end, and then it had a few good ones in between. But most of it was just like 
ha ha, this girl is painfully annoying, and this was another sex joke, but they're, they were just really easy, easy mm -hmm. jokes to make, but it was still really funny. Yeah, it was still, still really so funny. funny. So I'm giving it a B tier. Give it an absolute B tier. Yeah, if you like uh, a bridge series, that is that show. It's like it's, it's like an official a a bridge show. It's it's an official abridged. Yeah, it's series. an official abridged is what I would put it. Except for like if you watch like Sword Art Online abridged or Fifty Percent Off or Dragon Ball Z abridged, those are all significantly better and funnier. <laughs> um, official release abridged. Uh, uh, the the but yeah, it is it is basically an officially released abridged series. Here's a good funny show again that we just finished watching. Oh, that's just it's so wild. It is oh, such a yeah, wild I, show. Yeah, I I it's it's so brain dead. It has no point to it. They tried mm -hmm. to make a point at the end. Yeah, without also just being like, oh, now it's a serious show. Just I don't know what the plan will, but I really enjoyed it. And that's Space Dandy. <laughs> It it's, is, it's not a show to watch when your parents are around, yeah. just due to the types no of jokes that it makes, but um, it is it is it is hilarious. I'm going to give Space Dandy, I'm going to give it a B tier. Yeah, I agree. It's it's not an A tier, especially no. looking at, at the, no. the, about everything else here, but it is it is just such a wild show and I absolutely love it. If Would you say it's like Cowboy Bebop or worse? No. It's like Cowboy Bebop if you took Cowboy Bebop and like, um, what was the other one we said? Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. It is That's like it. adult Johnny Bravo, it, but it is, in space. It is anime Johnny Bravo. Now, if you're space. really a big fan of Johnny Bravo, watch Space Dandy. For me, I'd put it at like a C. I'm not Most a, people watching this are not going to know who Johnny Bravo is, it's a Yeah, it's an old cartoon. That's, un um, that's, un that's unfortunate. It's on my recommended list to watch on Crunchyroll. Cool. It like, pops up every time. So we've done a few funny shows. Let's talk about some serious shows. Some real girth. Some serious shows. So like Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Cyberpunk Edge Runners had a real run. Uh, what was it? Probably a year ago when it came out. Everybody loved this. Um, especially, mm. it was surprising how well it did after the flop of the, the game. Yes. Yeah. That game was... The but, it, but it made a resurgence for the video game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really get the hype behind it. It was really fun to watch. It had cool fight scenes, and that's why you watch it. You watch yeah. it for, for fighting. So, again, I'm going to give this one a B tier as well. Um, I would personally give it an A. I actually really like the show. And even though it started off a little slow, once you hit the like meat and potatoes of the show and the story... It just picks up and doesn't stop till the end. Like it just kind of keeps going. I kind of liked it, especially because how short it was. It kept me Still interested episodes. till the end. And it, it it did for me too. But I, I just I don't know. A lot of people like either really love it or thought it was okay. And I'm just in the okay section. Uh, but the fight scenes again were were super cool. Fight scenes and and um, I think Rebecca was my favorite character. Or Becca. Becca, the short one? Yeah, the short one. She was hilarious. Yeah. Anytime she showed up, I always laughed. She was, she was so sassy. She, I, she was great. Edge runners running on the edge of life and death. Life and death. Would be... Yin yeah. and Yang. Would be probably Noragami. There's uh, oh. there's this girl who is yeah. Yeah. kind of going between dead and alive. Mm -hmm. This kind of suffered from the same issue that uh, Blue Exorcist had. Which was the season one problem was also the season two problem. Origami, the openings you, of Origami are fantastic. The openings are wonderful. Mm -hmm. Also like Blue Exorcist. Um, so I'm going to give this one a B tier. I think season one was mm -hmm. good enough to give it a B tier. Season two would drop it to a C tier. Really? Yeah. I love season just so, two that you remember. It was just, again, really repetitive. I thought season it two changed. was better than season one. I like season two. It talked all about the girl and nothing about regular. Well, Noragami, the main guy. Yeah, but they kind of wrapped everything up. And season then season two, two, I don't know. They they had the whole two issue had between better him fight scenes, in my opinion. And the and his. Yeah, they had that again, but it was it was again. less than Blue Exorcist. I think season yeah. two had. Better I guess fight I guess it, honest opinion, they're the they both belong in B. They're both not. A's. Yeah, whatever but those both two B. are. I feel like they're just really similar in, in yeah. the layout. Yeah, I watched them back to back and they're both very similar and I was just tired of 
those styles. They are similar, but if I would prefer, if I was going to pick one over the other, I like Noragami more than Blue Exorcist. I think Noragami's story and the fighting was better than Blue Exorcist. I haven't seen either in such a long time. I don't remember most of it. This is why we need someone else who's in charge. Which is why we herald somebody else from a completely other world to take over this dying world of ours called Realist Hero Rebuilds the Kingdom. This was one of those shows that I watched because of the title. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually really good. Yeah. I felt like I had heard this story somewhere before, and I couldn't remember what it was until I watched No Game, No Life. And went, mm, oh, this yeah, is the, the, the exact the same, same thing, except not as good. It has a lot of rewatchability. I did like it. It is, however, not in the same uh, tier as most things in B. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a C. I'd give it like a B minus or a C plus. But because of what's in B, it's just not quite to that caliber. Mm -hmm. But it was really fun. I do actually recommend it. I would put it in B. I really, I think I liked it. A, I, and a I, lot, other than like the ending, the like the last three episodes, bad. But if you took the rest yeah. of everything, it'd be really good. I'd again, put it at B. Again, I would put it at B. I just don't think it's on the same caliber as like JoJo's, uh, Seven Deadly, first couple seasons. It was the last season that I watched that I didn't like. I'm going to leave it in B. Especially these movies that just came the movies out. Are great. Um, God, the yeah, movies are so bad. It's not the same as Gurren Lagann, Great Pretender, That's fair. Uh, Black Butler, K, Helsing Ultimate. Just because of that, I think I'm going to give it a C tier. Another show that has a really long title, though, How to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. Mm. Oh, I, haven't seen, guys... I haven't seen the third season third of this. Season, yeah. Because it's just so long and boring and I don't care. Yeah. It's it's a fine show. You kind of get in, you know, if you start it with all the seasons that are out, you'll probably like it a little more than I did. But when you go through it, it's just like, all right, here's this. And you have to wait for the next one. And then it's just, it's just, it's just mid. Mm -hmm. It is a mid show. And for mama, that, mama, mid. I'm going to give it a C tier. I think it kind of is suffers like SAO things. It doesn't. I don't think it suffers We're, quite like Sao because Sao had was really strong in the beginning. And this well, was just, yeah. Well, Sao in uh, Alfheim. Where I liked Alfheim. Where he's kind of just there and in the middle, and then just people kind of come around him for really no good reason, and they just start following him. Yeah, I suppose there is that. There's just the collection of the harem as it goes around. Yeah. That's true. There's there's the there's the pick up some friends, collection of the harem, but without it being like high school DxD situation where it's all like actually like that's the point. It's just everyone's like, oh yep. my gosh, he's great for this. You reason. saved me one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have to be the hero. Now you know what's kind of like that, except for a whole lot better. Goblin Slayer. Now, Goblin Slayer is very bloody. It, it, I was very surprised. It's, it's got some. It's got blood. It's got. Uh, I think it's got rape in it. In the first season, uh, first episode, it's trigger warning. If you make it through the first episode, then it's usually fine from there. But it's, it's all about a guy who likes to just kill goblins and only goblins. You get the backstory. It's really fun. It's really bloody. It tickles that bloody bone of whatever you you the gory. Gross. The gory, disgusting moan. Yep. Um, in terms of story, it's not... It, it's, it's hard to say, because it does have a story. It has a story of why. I'm going to give it a B tier. I give it a B tier. I really want to try and pound through the rest of these. Quick, rapid fire. We're not going to rapid fire, oh. but but yeah, we don't want to spend too much time on being late. round. <laughs> because I am right all the time for my tier list. Another thing that I watched recently that is a whole lot recently. more lighthearted mm. than Goblin Slayer would be Spy Family. Uh, Spy Family, yes. again, took the internet by storm when it came yep. out. Season 2 is coming out in October, I believe. Sometime in the fall, yeah. Sometime October. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited for that. It took me a while. I didn't think I was going to like Spy Family. It was really adorable, and I, anime has this tendency to be too adorable. To the uh, like mm. annoying chaos. amount, like chaos. But this I actually really liked. It was really funny. God. It was well made. They they gave Anya the the little girl like actual uh, actual character as opposed to just being the cute one. The only critique I really have for the show is that the adoptive mom, your your, she kind of is a bit flat. Nice. She has she has her. 
She has her, uh, she has her assassin life. This isn't really spoilers because you figured this out as soon as she shows up. There's her assassin side, and then there's her home. I, I'm a ditzy klutz, and they really don't overlap at all, um, no. or, or they don't bridge. Is what I'm trying to say super well. No, it's like a switch. It's like, like a. Click. But not like some sort of like trigger switch. Mm -hmm. It's just like, all right, there's this, and then there's this. She's very two-dimensional, I suppose you could yeah. say. Yeah. Um, which can be a little. Which is that? Sometimes. Well, it's that's the only thing that I that I would put here. Uh, for that, I'm gonna give this show an A tier. A tier. This is an A tier show. I agree. I love this show. I uh, I watched it. The same reason everyone else watched it because it was on the hype train. Memes. Yeah, and. Um, I caught up to the weekly episodes by like episode 12 or 13 and I was watching it weekly until it finished and it was so good. Loved every episode. My favorite episodes are like the ones where it's just Anya and her friend in school and they just go around in school and Anya's just like, I'm going to make him my friend today. I make that person my friend. I, those are like my favorite episodes because they're so funny. It feels good to give something something, give a show something other than like Meh. Meh to awful. Although awful is kind of fun to do in extreme. I kind of want to put um, whatever this uh, vampire, vampire Knight in D tier. So I'm going to do that real quick. F. Or uh, F tier, yeah. Because it. Yeah. I kind of want to put like both of these F, these D tiers that I had. I had uh, um, Vampire Knight. It just wasn't for me, which means for my, D, for my tier, tier list, list, it is an F tier. Mm -hmm. We talked about this when watching... Uh, Kato, the right answer. And I was like, but it wasn't as bad as Vampire Night, which means it, it, it needs goes. to be an F, it, uh, <laughs> which means that I just had that wrong. Uh, Evangelion, I couldn't finish watching, so that means it should be in F tier. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a quick update on, on that. Get in the cup! Is that a triple F? The, that's a, those are two Fs, back to back. And then another show that I couldn't finish watching was um Toradora. 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 Yeah. I got halfway through this I think this is a twenty four episode show. Yes. Yes, yeah. We made it twelve episodes and we were like, ah, this is such a good show. Glad it wrapped up. The uh the Sundere character was a bit annoying, but it, it wrapped up, we were happy. But then we found out we were only halfway done. <laughs> and we were like, Nope, no more. No okay. more. <laughs> my, no more. My one coworker I told her I was watching it. And that I only could get halfway through. And she's like, you gotta finish. And I said, no, it's too much. 12 episodes was enough. I can't do another 12. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. As the only one who did finish this, it it's the same for the next 12 episodes. Yeah, I'm... There's barely any change. I don't mind tsundere characters. It's just when it. they're obnoxiously tsundere. Like Asuna was a good tsundere character that then they nerfed as soon as uh, uh, they... Alphine. Well, no, they, they nerfed her before that. Once she became the wifey character, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, Kirito. Oh, Kirito. Which is why I would have to give it an F tier for not finishing it. Wow. But it, uh, As someone who's finished it, it is like a double D or a C. I was going to But because you haven't finished it, you couldn't it, you could put it in F. If just the 12 episodes I watched, I'd give it a C. Because it's not bad, but it's not good. It's just kind of... Yeah, of the ones I saw... Right in the middle. <laughs> Of the ones I saw, it was. Pr and I could be persuaded to a D. I think due to the stuff that's here, it's. I put it in it's D. probably. A, honestly, they're both. They're both kind of the same. Um, it's just a straight C. Like I wouldn't just, recommend uh, it, but I, I wouldn't tell you not they, to watch. The it. one thing that uh, you don't see because you didn't finish it, <laughs> they drop the her toughness a lot of times as they put her down, yeah. like to not be tough anymore, like okay. she was. I'll give that. I'll give that a C tier. If you think that it deserves better, then let me know in the comments. I'll probably watch it. Because you guys C, bullied me C. into watching uh, Madoka, Madoka Magica. Yeah. And it was actually fine. Speaking of other shows that were just fine, which one is this? Is this... I can't tell. Um, Seki-kun. Master of Killing Time. Seki-kun. Alright, this one is only in Japanese. And every episode's only about seven minutes. But there's 20 episodes, I think. And basically, every episode is uh, Seki-kun doing something silly instead of paying attention in class. And oh. then the girl next to him is kind of trying to pull a Candace. You know who Candace is? 
From Phineas and Ferb. From Phineas and the Ferb. The reason I watched My Hero Academia. <laughs> Candace from Phineas and Ferb. She she's trying to catch him and get him in trouble, but then he's fine at the end of it. He doesn't get in trouble, and she does get in trouble. And it's kind of funny. So oh, for that turn, for that, I, I'm gonna give it a C tier. It it wasn't like mm -hmm. it wasn't up in the B when you when you look at all the other B shows. It's not quite that good, but it was definitely it was it was a, it was a fun watch. Uh, Straight down the middle, I would say. Bo Furry, I don't want to get hurt, so I maxed out my defense. Oh. Uh, which I also heard is probably getting a second season. Don't know what that is. Uh, I, again, I watched this strictly for the title, and it did not hold up. It 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 wasn't a bad show. I'm not going to give it an F tier, but it definitely is probably a double D tier. It, uh, it was... For double defense. Yep, double the defense. Double it was, defense. It, it was fine. Yeah, it was, it was fine. It was not as funny as you would think it would be for that title. Maid Sama, I watched a little bit of. That one's another one that's just like K-On. It's just so mm -hmm. obnoxiously just like... Woo, 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 woo. So if you guys... Really? Oh yeah, she's just like... It's just so fast. It's too fast-paced. It's yeah. just too fast-paced. I didn't like it. Um, so I'm going to give it an F tier unless you tell me to watch it. In the comments. Which I'm, I, I, yeah, I don't which I'm realizing is kind of just like a... I haven't watched it, F is just kind of a, I haven't watched enough of it. Um, I will not continue. And I don't want to continue, which, in my opinion, is deserving of F if I just don't want to keep watching. Now, let's take a break from that, and let's talk about maybe one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. Wow. What? Uh, what? This, I almost never watched this show. Now, if you had watched this video, I kind of did a little bit of a, a, a deep dive on this already. I watched the live action of this movie when it came out. And I went, oh, I saw, I saw it and I went, oh, this is basically what it's about, right? And I, and I think the premise is good. I kind of get the idea. And I told, him, I told him that. And he said... Uh, yeah. I said, no! <laughs> I, I adamantly told you, watch the show. And you're like, no, it's bad. I'm not going to watch it. I watched the first episode and I hated the first episode. Which I feel like is a... a I, I, I still don't really like the first episode. Yeah. The uh, going from a show that I I don't remember what show I was watching before that, but going from a show that's kind of that's really kind of much more animated uh, in the deliveries, um, you know that to a show first of all from the early two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. But also from this dubbing studio in Canada, it's Ocean Group. I think it's called the Ocean Group. It's Ocean something. Um. They're just really quiet in how they deliver. So for that, that was jarring. And then also they're feeding you all of this information in one episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it gets so much better. Said, Absolutely. Episode two, I was in. I was in on episode two. It was so good. And of course the show I'm talking about is Death Note. Death Note! Death Note is so Thank good. Thank you. This is an S tier. Thank you. Absolute S tier. For finally stop bullying me about Death Note. It, cause it, Thank you. <laughs> so many people, when people like something, I want to hate it, which is a very not good character thing to character trait to have, but it is something that I feel. And uh, everyone's like, "Oh, Death Note's great! Oh, Death Note's great!" And I just wanted to be like, "No, you're all, uh, you know, you're all incorrect. You're all incorrect." It's the worst uh, show ever but made. no, it was it was so good. I, and honestly, the second time I watched it, the twists weren't as good. But mm -hmm. even, like, the mellow stuff, and when I say mellow, I mean mellow and near, um, which I won't elaborate on because that is a big spoiler. Mm -hmm. um, Spoilers. That got a lot better, actually, the second time I watched oh. it. I actually kind of liked it a bit more. I recently just uh, watched up into the show uh, last month because I finally... Tim bullied me enough into watching that it. That was Caleb. Caleb bullied me for saying it was good. Then I he was like, ah, I got I actually it. watched it because last... So like a year ago, last uh, last Halloween, The Simpsons did a parody to it. Oh, oh yeah, yes. 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 The Simpsons. I went, oh my gosh, this is actually this actually sounds amazing. I should give that another try, and it, it was really good. And, and then he uh, came back and apologized, and I said, thank you, I yes. so thank you. I, <laughs> so I literally kind of binged it. I watched like ten that episodes, was... and then five, and then ten, and then five, and then like ten. But it's it's so good. The only critique that I would give this show. Is that Misa Misa is a little bit annoying in the first couple episodes. Yeah, she's <laughs> no, a little bit annoying all the time. I would say pr progressive. She actually but, uh, just gets worse 
Yeah. I, I think that... It's the only complaint. Uh, she is necessary to the plot because they needed a way of not being... Oh, perfect. no, 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 I agree, I agree. I just, yeah, I just, just at times, I'm like, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over your character a yeah. little bit. Now, a show that I think is amazing that has a whole lot of rewatchability as well is... Oh. Yuri on ice. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yowie on the rocks, if you will. Yes! I I absolutely <laughs> love this show. It's it's honestly yeah. really good. Uh, it's really gay, too. It's a lot. Most of it is implied. This was really good. This was really well done. Um, I'm going to give it an A tier. I would, re I would rewatch this over and over again. And then, apparently, there's supposed to be a season two or a movie that they've been announcing ever since the show came out, but I don't, I don't think it's it will. It's been years to happen. Unless There's they pull such a sequel bait. Unless they pull a Devil is a Part Timer. So. And then like seven years later. Yeah. <laughs> seven to ten years later, yeah. Fun little side tangent. Um, I'm not really part of any um, voice acting groups or impression groups. I haven't done that since like my Amino days. But a friend of mine from high school who I I, I think still watches this sh this channel. Hi. Invited me. Hello. Uh, you know who you are. In, yes, you would know who you are. You know Invited exactly who you are. Invited me to an Instagram chat where everyone played different characters, uh, just in character, and that was fun for a little bit. Um, and we haven't talked in uh, the last time any of us said anything big was September of 2018. So it's been five years. It's been five years. Jeez. Yep, very sad. That's what um, What's the... Christoph Giacometti, where he's on the ice and goes, I'm going to come. So <laughs> that, that, was, that was the character I played. If you guys want to hear Christoph Giacometti play a game, let me know. He'll um, do it. He will do I, it. I will do it. Um... He'll do it. It's so beautiful, he could cry. It's so beautiful, I could always cry. Now, here's another show okay. that is deserving of another season, but never oh. got it. Oh, no. But. Uh, what? What is it? Most people haven't seen it. You might have heard of it. Did I? But most people haven't seen it. And it is called Dead Man Wonderland. Oh, yes. no, I haven't heard of it. Dead Man Wonderland. I haven't watched is it. Incre it. it is It is. It is gross, and it starts off Ew. gross. So, basically... Our main character mm -hmm. is framed for murdering his entire class. Oh. But for people on death row, there's this other option that they can do besides die, which is win back their freedom by being in a amusement park and being the subjects of... Basically, kind of like Hunger Games oh, okay, type, okay. type situation. Um, and then they're all trying to escape this uh, because it is incredibly horrible. It is an absolutely horrible thing. Even if like these people are death row inmates and m murdered people, which is actually part of the allure, is it's kind of like, do I really feel bad for someone who deserves to be here? And you are following someone who doesn't deserve to be there. And we don't ever find out who that is, because there's no season two! It deserves it! So here it is. I'm giving it an A tier. And hopefully, it'll get one. It'll get a season two. From this. By, by this video. If you share this video uh, around, the creators of uh, Dead Man Wonderland, the animators, will make another season. Go to their Instagram and Twitter and yell go at their them. For, go to their platform formerly known as Twitter and <laughs> at them. Or now X. Yell at um, them. Go to their ex-girlfriend and yell at them. Yeah, that just like to ask a girlfriend. <laughs> now, I, we've got Another a lot of show. we've got a lot of serious shows left. So to give ourselves a breather, we're going to do Restaurant to Another World. Oh. Restaurant to Another World is just a fun show. It's got it's kind of got like a the the issue that kind of low effort shows have, where they just repeat the same thing. No, nope. basically, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's this restaurant. Okay. That every Saturday night. The door to this restaurant in Japan, I believe it's in Japan. It might be America with... No, it's Japan with an American theme. Oh, J Japan... Japerica? The door is now a portal every Saturday night to another world. To, like, this medieval world with dragons and stuff. And ah. they come in through the door. And they're like, oh, what is this? What is this place? Uh, and then uh, Christopher Sabat, the guy who plays the next the main character, I can't remember his name, so I'm just going to call him Chris Sabat. 
Chris Sabat gives them money. Not money, sorry. They give, he gives them food. He's like, here, just try this. Whatever your troubles are, don't worry about it. Just try this food. And they try it, they cry, and they're happy, and they come every every single Saturday night. And it's just wholesome. It's a fun watch. Is it good? Eh. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I want to watch yeah. it. But is it, a, is it like... Uh, is it a, good? Is it, a, is it a crazy good show? Is it Death Note? Nuh-uh. So I'm going to give it a B tier. That's fair. That's fair. Definitely worth a watch. And we'll tell you he's right, because uh, we haven't seen it. We're sorry. Oh, uh, what did I say Mob Psycho deserved? A B? A C, B? I think you said B or A, you'll say oh, yeah, come back to it. Oh, yeah, because you haven't finished come it. Back to it. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to stick that up, because I stick to, stuck everything else somewhere. I'm going to give it a... B. A. I'd give it an A. B, A. I'm, I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A. A was, it, it was a really good show. It might be a lot better now because of this third season, because season two ended weird. Transferred through through a doorway of so sorts. This isn't really a doorway, it's more of an elevator. Um, an elevator? Death Parade. Ba -da -da. This, first of all, has a really, really banging opening. Fantastic. Opening. All I know about it. it, is that's, a, it is that's, that's also opening. all I know about it is the opening. It's really jazzy. <laughs> so great. basically, Death Parade, I can't talk too much about it, which the, you kind of figure out what happens, why they're all there in the first, end of the first episode. But it, this is such a short show, and it's really good, and with, uh, and I would be spoiling a lot to talk about. Yeah, it I do want to watch this. So yeah, very very worth watching. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it a B tier. Hmm. Worth it, watching, but B. If if it had more episodes, it would be an A tier. But it and it actually just stuck to what it did, to what it does really well. It just did that, and it was great. I think I'm just gonna give it a B tier for. Okay. That though. It sounds like it should be an A, but okay. it it is an A. It could be an A. It could be a B. I could be persuaded to either. Um, we'll watch but I it. I think I'll give it a. I think I'll give it a B, just because of like K and Black Butler being in here. But one show that is a lot better. Hey. Is going to be Angel Beats. Angel Beats. Angel Beats is such a it's such a nice show. It, it's so yeah. heartwarming and it's cool and it's funny and it's funny and it's got a bop and opening as well. Another good bop. It does. Opening. Angel Beats, going around, shooting things, having fun. Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure which I would put it in. The ending is so good, though. Mm -hmm. It ends really well. I and I think on the opening, so. if it wasn't for the ending, this show would easily be a B tier, but I'm really torn between A and B. So what do you... What are, uh, what are as your the person on? who watched it with you, I think it did really well. The transfer between really serious to really funny. Yep. And for that reason, I'd give it an a, because it's not just one note like a lot of your other B's are. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, this is just one note, and it was good. It did it's both true. comedy and story really well, and it wrapped up very nicely. And I don't want another season, which is rare for a lot of shows. When you're watching a lot of shows, your the anime are like, we're gonna do another season, but this one's like, we're not. This is it. This mm -hmm. is it's done. That's nice. I like that. Which I could say that about a lot of things in B and move them up to A. Like Black Butler, I could stick back up to A. Because I did like it. It just had it, it had its moments. So I actually, no, I'll say B. Uh, K. K, it just holds a special spot. Uh, so that one's special for you. If it, uh, That one for me is if it wasn't for season two, I'd put it at probably Yeah, a. Season, season two was the rough one, I think. I think I mentioned that. Season one is like an A tier. Season two was more of like an eh. If you want to know a little bit more about the story. You know what? I'm going to put K in A tier. I just like That's it. Great. He did it! I just like it. Uh, I'm going through these, trouble. and I'm I'm mildly remembering what's what happens in here, and we're we're just re, we're just reorganizing mildly. Three left, three left. We're almost done, folks. Let's Ooh. go with the Adventures of Sinbad. Another one we watched together. Another one we watched together. This one was back when Netflix just started putting anime on mm -hmm. on its yeah, on on. site. And this was the only one that looked good, mm -hmm. and we watched it, and it was it it was fine. It was about the same as, like, um, actually, it was really similar to Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, but it was just a little less pervy. I was going to say it's better. It was a lot, I think it... It's the same energy, same it's energy. It's the same energy, which is why I'm going to give it a C tier. I agree. Um, I think it's supposed to be a sequel to Magic. I don't remember what the... Oh, that's right, M -A -G -I. yeah. M-A-G-I. Mad Magi? I don't Mad remember. Magi, Magi, I don't know. But we I, didn't watch that one. We didn't watch that so one. So it might be better if we did watch that one first and came to that one. But that one's just so... It's an older anime that we were yeah. like, eh, Sinbad looks good. The Adventures of Sinbad is uh, an old 
uh, story that's mm -hmm. yeah. not something they just came up with. Like Sinbad, yeah. it, a lot of people know that name. When I say a lot of people, I mean your parents and grandparents probably know that name pretty well. Now, another show, again, has a bopping opening, and people know if you were around, if you're an older weeb, not quite veteran weeb of early 2000s, but like older weeb of like early 2010s, you would, would have heard of Duarara. Duarara! Duarara! Say du it with us. Duarara! I can't say it. <laughs> I made one video about this where I tried to be oh, Shizuo. Yeah, uh, I just don't quite have that gruff way. I used to be able to do it, but I just jumped into it after like four years of not doing Shizuo. But it was fun. It got views, which means some of you have seen it, and it's it's a fun watch. I really Thank like you. it. it. It's really slow for the first six episodes, but it gets really good. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. does. It really does get amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah. A put it there. Put it there. A put it there. I don't know. I haven't seen it a shot does... of the song. The song the blue is awesome. Both songs are amazing. They're both really good. It is the peak, because once again, I think it, these were also back-to-back-to-back to back to back for me. That one was significantly better than the the Blue Exodus and the Noragami kind of style. It did it much better. I didn't even think Kahan. It did it similar to Kahan style. And I kind of, I think it did K. better. K, sorry, not Kahan. I keep saying Kahan when I mean K. I'll say yeah. K when I mean K. Kahan just lives in your brain. Yeah, just because we talked about it. We were watching it. and awful. Yes, it's, um, it, it, it's just did everything better. It was great. It's just a fun watch, and it, it brings back, you know, I, I watched it with a bit of nostalgia goggles because it's one of the few, mm -hmm. first few that I that I had seen. Um, and it reminds me of being in uh, middle school, where, back when I had no worries. Means no worries. And our last... <sighs> anyway, our last one... Anime. ...is going to be one that was recommended to me by this guy over here. I think it was like the third or fourth anime I watched. I was not in the mood to watch this show when I first when I watched the first episode. I wanted to watch something lighthearted. But then we came back to it the next night, and I, I, mm -hmm. I we power watched the entire thing. I think in that one night, unless it's twenty episodes, is it? It's twelve. 12. I thought I so. Yeah, we, we power watched well, through the whole thing. Yeah, I think it is twelve. I think you're right. It's, Either way, it was the same short. weekend. It's I short. believe it was. It was great. It was great. Would I give it an S tier? No. 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 Would I give it a B tier? Eh, maybe. Probably. Maybe. I, could I have a hard time remembering it. The only thing that is really keeping it from getting an A tier for me is that uh, the twist, the bad guy, who's in oh, it. Oh, yeah. I, like, I called it off the bat. Mm -hmm. I, that, that was pretty obvious for me. But for some people, it won't be, so that would be an A tier. It has the same energy, the same vibe yeah, energy, energy. as um, uh, Promised Neverland. Yeah. But Promised Neverland just did it better. Um, but I yeah. I could be persuaded to an A. What do you think? B this, or is, a? this is another one. I, I'll put on my Nostalgia Glaggles and give it an A. I think, I think that, the, that it, it was so unique in its storytelling. It really was. It's yeah. just unique. It wasn't like... Here's this cookie cutter of what, how we got to point A to point B. You, like you said, you even knew, like, this is how it's going to end. But the way they got there wasn't cookie cutter. It wasn't like, yep. up, up, this is it. This is how it's going to go. It was a little confusing. Um, yeah. A little. a little confusing. But honestly, it was just really good. Mm -hmm. it, it really was a good show. You highly recommend this show to me. Mm -hmm. Well, Tim does. Tim recommends it. I recommend it. I don't. Nowadays, because it is kind of older. I know the opening. I I've, I've listened. I've to the played opening. the opening a lot. It's yeah. one of my favorite openings. The opening is really good. That's the end of end of the new tiers. If you want to see us, just quickly, we're gonna quickly go through uh, reorganizing and adjust. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit longer. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna uh, hold. please hold as we uh, figure this out. Um, so I'm gonna keep everything that is S, S tier S is here, correct. other S. than maybe Demon Slayer. I also agree. Demon Slayer <sighs> season Oops. one, season one and Mugen Train. I really liked. Season two was all right. It was it, that I, was certainly an A tier. Season two had better fights. I just get bored watching it by the. Middle I really of did. I, I just get bored. I would yeah. I would say A tier. It's not. I will also, move. Uh -oh. also just because we're ordering it. I would What's say number one? number one is Oron. Yep. Number two is FMA. Is number 
Three. Regular or Brotherhood? That's Brotherhood. Okay, That's I brotherhood. thought so. Number three is Assassination Classroom. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put Death Note in front of Hunter x Hunter. I agree. I, I agree. was going to say Death Note That's in, front a good order. in front of Assassination Classroom. That's but you haven't seen it. Assassination yeah. Classroom. So for it's really good. But I would also give Cowboy Bebop probably my That's favorite. also true, but it's mm -hmm. but that's an a, your tier as list. As long as it's an A, I'm okay. That's your tier list. So I, would, I would personally move I'm gonna, that up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like Kale do something. Right. It's his tier list. This Everyone is at home, I'm so sorry for that man's behavior. For this He's <laughs> been. <laughs> 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 Look, he was very good this weekend about not being grabby, and now he just has I, to let it go. I have to, I have to do it. He, now. He's usually so, very aggressive, and he's so, been aggressive so. recently. So what? Not I would really. give I would, the first one an A tier. The one that is just barely not an S tier is Attack on Titan. I absolutely agree. It is I, I, honestly. I want to know how it can. ends. Um, my buddy uh, Evan Prince, who uh, has changed his channel a few times, I can't quite remember. I think it's. Uh, we'll bring it up right now. It is this. <laughs> Gross. I, 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 he just does uh, gym mixes for Attack on Titan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's yes, so yes, yes. awesome, and he, he's great. If you like, also, he's doing retrospectives of older video games. So oh, if you're into that, be sure, to, be sure to check Go that out. Go check him out on Spotify and all listening platforms. I love old video game songs. Uh, if if you're watching on. this, Evan, uh, which I doubt you are this far, but if you are, Hey. Uh, How you doing? If you are, please upload all those gym mixes to Spotify because I would really like to cancel my YouTube premium. <laughs> and that is the only reason I have it. Then after that, I think I'm going to have to go... I think I'll do Demon Slayer because okay. that was an S tier. I, I'm going to yeah, give it that I one. I can understand. I wouldn't, but that's okay. That's just There's me. that. Then... No, I like no, no game better than Full Metal. I like Full Metal Original. I, I think I'm going to put SAO, though. Yes! That's fair. SAO. I will, I will be okay with that. Next. I'm not a fan of the... But the city, that's only uh, I am an part SAO. One. Yes. Yeah, that's part one. Fan that's only part one? Absolutely. Part one. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't care. All I say I'm a fan girl of. I will I mean, die on that hill. I'm a fan. I don't care what all of you say. You know what's a sleeper hit I would put after SAO? What? Spy Family. That's, that's, a not, that's not a sleeper. No. That's not a sleeper hit. No. That was massive. That's a good hit, though. That was massive. That's Honestly, a... I have to. I'm gonna put One Punch Man next because it's just so did freaking funny. Did you watch season funny. two? Yes, I did. Okay. Season two wasn't my favorite, but season three is gonna come out. I keep trying to yeah, watch that show, but it's not. One. Season one's great. It's only season dubbed two, on Crunchyroll, and I tried to watch yeah. it on Netflix. It was sub, so I couldn't. Yeah, we should. It. I should actually watch it on sub. It, it's uh, sub, sub is actually bad. more funny. It's more funny. I want to watch it sub after I watch the dub. All right. So we have that. I'm gonna put. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> Man, organizing is tough, guys. This is hard. Did you I'm watch gonna... the Promised Neverland season two? I did not watch okay. season two. Promised Neverland season one was really good. I'm gonna put K because that just lives Red in free. my head. It just it just why? left something it, it special in my mind, and that is why. And that's why we it's quoted be a, next. Well, I quoted a lot. Yeah, you did. Unintentionally. You're too kind. You're too kind. I'm then probably going to put Original Full Metal and then Black Butler Book of Circus. I can get behind that. Then I'll put Promise Neverland. Just season one, though. Oh, so just season one. Season, season two. two. We, um, we don't talk about season Promise two, Neverland. Two. And then... Then I'll put Spy Family. Spy Family's really yeah, good. Spy yeah, Family's great. Spy Family's fantastic. I'm going to do... No oh, wait. I forgot about Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is so good. Cowboy Bebop it's so good. is going to be... I love Cowboy Bebop. I think it's I'm going to put passion. Cowboy Bebop before Promised Neverland. Yes. That's fair. I accept. Um, That's fine. No Game, No Life. I put right after Spy Family. Right after Spy Family. Yes. Mm, actually, right before Spy Family. That's fair. I, I haven't seen Spy Family. See, that's tough, though, because this Without, didn't end. This this ended properly, and this is still... I know, which is why I have to give it a little bit higher. Not because it's good, but because I want more. Yeah. I know. Uh, then I'm going to put Devil is a Part-Timer. Just, just season one. one. Season two. Season two. I did was, not like season, season two. Season two was like a I, B, I C tier. That, that was a B, C tier. Um, but there is going to be a season three, so... Hopefully yeah. it'll be better. Kill, um, kill. I'd love hold on, kill. hold on. Or Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice is also a great watch. I, Food Wars is just so Food funny. Food Wars is really good. I, put, I keep Food Wars where it is. Food I think Wars, that's good. They, both enjoyable as funny and as a food thing. I think. Yes. Uh, mm, honestly, the rah, the rah. Oh, gosh. This is so hard. <laughs> yeah. This is so hard. I should do a live stream of just doing this. Um, but 
Duara will be before Kill a Kill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I'll do Haikyuu yes. right after that. Yes. Oh. Bakano was oh, great. Oh, Kill a Kill, then Haikyuu. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, Bakano was great. Honestly, I'll put that before Kill a Kill. <sighs> kill a Kill's going Keep down on the list, I don't like it. It's, it's still an A, though. I know, but um, it's going down in the A tier Dead list. Man Wonderland was great. Um, but I'm gonna. What would you put at the end of I would A? Put that at the end. Erased. I think stays. Actually, no. Erased, erased will probably be. Will stay at the bottom. Then I'll go. Mob Psycho after High Q. Uh, Yuri on Ice again stays, is another stays, one. Stays there. And then that one. Angel Beat stays, Angel there. stays there. Yuri on Ice I actually really liked, and I don't know if I'm gonna move it up anywhere. Yuri on Ice. Put it behind Rara. I think I'll put it behind Kill a Kill. Yeah. Okay. No. A, yeah. I'll, I'll put it above there. Kill a Kill. Oh. There we go. Right there. Kill a Kill. It is. Man. It is just really good. All right. Then JoJo's. I I JoJo's. I love JoJo's. season two so much that it's that. Uh, my hero. I'm putting at the very end of B. Uh, oh. 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 Where I've heard the hype from, not that good. Where it is now, great. I've seen, watching the entire show. I've seen a little bit. I've seen the first six episodes. I talked about this. And the first six episodes were good. And then I hear it stays good until like season four or five. And then it just drops off. And it's just kind of, it's kind of overstaying its welcome. Uh, that's what I've heard. Uh, but I'm putting it there just because. It's in B tier. I gave you B tier. Thank yeah, you're you. Forcing Thank you. It's B-tier. good. It's but, good. But all of you who are shipping like deck oh, and those Bakugo, ships are gross. all of you shippers, those are kind you, of gross. You are getting you are degenerates. Get out. I understand. I understand. You're going but in. The, it, it, going it's in the, too much. It's too much. You're going in. The then middle. after that, I think I might put Soul Eater. Soul they count Eater. there? Soul Eater. We didn't see. No. Oh, oh my god. No. Soul Eater. So I will fight for Soul bored. Eater. I was really bored. Soul Eater's better than that. Soul Eater. Soul Eater might be a little better than some of these, but Soul That's Eater is just... The the thing I don't like about Soul Eater is it ended bad, and I hate how every important character just keeps repeating the same lines over and over again. It's like, oh, I'm so cool. This is what a cool guy does. Um, uh, and, and I'm Black Star! Star. <laughs> yeah. I will agree with the Death ending is, is not great, Death, but the Death show the is fantastic. And, uh, Death the Kid and... Uh, Excalibur, the only really good reasons, and mm-hmm. uh, Doctor Stein. No, Doctor Stein is so good. Soul and that's it. Better. I will. The, don't worry, Soul Eater fan. I'm don't, fighting for I, us. I already see ones that I'm going to put before that or yeah. uh, after that. I mean, yeah. I'm going to put next after JoJo's. I'm going to put Black Butler. I think okay. Black Butler again holds a special place in my heart special, for multiple for multiple reasons. This was the best show I ever saw until I watched some Everything more shows. Else. Let's go with Fate at the bottom. Fate. You'd put it bottom. Mm, I actually, I liked Fate. You should probably go, you might want to go back and rewatch it. No, but I was really bored. I, I liked Fate. I want to get into really Fate. Good. I gotta I gotta, watch that I gotta video. rewatch that. It was good. Um, let's go with Cyberpunk. I actually would put, I'd put near the same spot. I think I'll put Cyberpunk a little bit before. No, I can say. Really, I like Cyberpunk though. Cyberpunk I like Cyberpunk, good. but it wasn't, it wasn't quite that good. Level. It wasn't as hyped as hype. Um, oh, I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna put. The this one. What uh, is that? Restaurant oh. to another world. Oh. It was really fun. I'm gonna put it after Soul Eater though. Thank God. It was. It was again great watch. Great watch. But it it doesn't have a lot of meat and potatoes, despite having a lot of meat and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no meat and potatoes, but they have actual meat and potatoes. It's thin meat and potatoes. <laughs> it's it's literal meat and potatoes, yeah, not, not for metaphorical yeah. with meat and We're potatoes. We're looking for metaphorical here. Blue Exorcist. I'm gonna stick up here. Oh yeah. I think after Dragon Ball. Dra- Thank you. I, I just really Dragon like. Ball. I, I love watching Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. It's just so fun. much fun. Would you put it? It's, it's mine. Not, it's not. Fun. But it's not. It's also not a binge show. But there are mm-hmm. different kinds of shows, and I feel like that doesn't quite. Yeah. Just a, because it's not a binge show doesn't mean that it's not a good show. It's a great background show. I don't know if I put great Blue background show. up that high. I mean, I'm, I also agree I'm with putting that, it. But I'm putting it behind Dragon Ball, but I am. Putting I would it up put Seven Deadly Sins. Before no, Blue no, no. not what happened with it. I would have put Seven Deadly Sins before that. Yes. If it weren't for 
after Bon or not Bon after uh, King and Deanne go yes. back do some time travel bullcrap. Yep, that was and good. The, I whole, loved those episodes. episodes. I did not. It was the art. time travel where they went and meant past to the best selves or past, something like well, that. Well, not the no, past. The past, the past, the past King. King. Yeah, past King. King. The those were great King. episodes. So That's where boring. it got good. No, no, no y'all no, wrong. No, you're wrong. Gother. Past Gother. Raise your hand if Joel's wrong. And that is democracy in action. <laughs> I have a diehard fan that dresses up as Meliodas and has Seven Daily Sins cast. And I haven't seen him in a oh, while. Oh, a friend of mine, uh, well actually a friend of our cousins, has a dog named Meliodas. Is he blonde? Yeah, he is a golden retriever. Okay, that's a, that's a good name a golden lab. I, I didn't like King name. until they went back in time travel. Then I liked King. That's all. Or actually, no, he's, his name is Captain. It was good. It's, it's oh, after, good, yeah. It's that was good. Well, that like kind of be Captain of Scraps. No, it does not count. I'll die on that. That's fine. Uh, free, free. I really uh, only like. Only first of all, there was a big hype when it first came out, season one, season two. Um, but it's really only good for fifty percent off. Which, if you want to see an abridged series tier list, I'll do it. Yeah. Just let me know. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, we watch put, a lot of rich shows. I'm gonna put I've fifty. Only I'm, what they've given me. I'm gonna put free back here. It's it's alright. That's fair. It, That's, fair. Online, right? That's fair. That's fair. Make me happy. Honestly, it does deserve. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I really want to make. I want to. I want to make my hero fans hurt. But honestly, it is the truth. Um, it, it's not. It is overhyped, but it's not. Oh, Noragami is. That's right. Noragami is here. I'm putting. Mm, Put Noragami in front above, of Blue Exorcist. Above. No, I it's was better. No, Blue it's Exorcist. not. I was, no, no, Noragami is no, 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 better. No. I like Blue Exorcist a little bit more. Just a little bit. It. That's fair. I, Nor, I, I, the, Noragami. Noragami had longer, slow moments. And it's just a little bit. I liked Blue Exorcist a little bit more. It was just a little bit more like, wow! Can, can I can I say that Blue Exorcist and Origami to me are almost the same? Exactly. They're, same, they're here. Same, same. They need to go side by side. I, I would say they're side by side, but we can't quite do that. So. If they could, if we could fuse the two together, they'd be the same. If you fused them together, the show itself would be like a C tier. Um, <laughs> Gross. Gurren Lagan. Oh, uh, how's that Lagan, be? Because of part two. That's fair. Part two was the real. Otherwise, I'd give it an A tier. But part two. Oh yeah, I, I, mean, gonna, I said about OVAs. Are good, I'm gonna stick that actually it. in front of Blue Exorcist. I agree. Um, Helsing Ultimate again was a fun watch. I, 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 the I just watched the abridged. I just watched the abridged. So abridged. I'm gonna put that behind Seven Deadly. Okay, That's I can respect um, that. Yeah. Honestly, I think Seven Deadly goes goes uh, in front yeah, of right, Blue Exorcist. Right there. Um, it, it, it had good, but it was yeah. better. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, what's ooh, that? shoot! What's that called? Uh, uh, Steins Gate. Oh, Steins Gate has a season oh. two that I haven't seen yet, and I really want to see it. Se uh, Steins Gate, it was so good, um, but it was also really uh, slow. It was kind of drawn out a little longer than it needed to be. Steins Gate, though, Steins Gate might actually go up to an A here. <gasps> whoa, um, whoa, whoa, whoa! What a day. Steins Gate was really good. Uh, if that's the case, Steins Gate is gonna go here in between Kill a Kill, and uh, keep pushing nice. Kill a Kill to be. Nice. <sighs> Kill a Kill was just really funny. Kill Kill yeah, was, it was so way funny. Too it was not my comedy, which is the problem. Oh, it's yeah. so not my comedy. Funny. I love Kill a Kill. Um, it deserves more hype. All right. Uh, so then we're there. Uh, we're at Helsing. We're at Great Pretender. Great Pretender. I think it stays where it is. Great Pretender is really it's, it's good. middle. I like it's it. middle B. It is. I would say that it's at whatever the same level uh, Space Dandy is, but a little bit better than Space Dandy. It is better than Space Dandy. Uh, Fate, Zero, that, yeah. Fate Zero was a great show that was, again, just drawn out a little too long. Yeah, I think that was um, my problem. I would it. give it better than Jiu-Jitsu... Uh, better than... Uh, uh, oh, what was that called? Um, what is it? Junie Tyson. Oh, it is yeah. It a better Junie Tyson. Yeah, well, I they forgot were, we they were the same show. energy. Same I keep energy. blocking out Junie Tyson. I keep forgetting about that show. <laughs> um, Death Parade would probably go. Nah. Actually, no. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put Ghost Stories uh, right after Space Dandy, but I would say they're probably pretty equal. Ghost Stories is funny. It's Ghost fun Stories time. is really funny. Uh, it's a good time. It's a good time, you say. Uh, and then I think the rest of this is good. Yeah, I, I agree. Hermit, she's kind of stays low. I'm still fighting for Jeannie Tyson. Uh, no, uh, Jeannie Tyson. Jeannie Tyson. Uh, yeah, I would say it was mid, but I'd say it was just a little bit above. Yeah, I do agree. All right, next. I Boy, think C Tower is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to give first of all it's the high um, C. This high C is probably going to be 
uh, Realist Hero rebuilds the kingdom. Just missing on the B tier. Just, just missing. It was good, but then it just um, petered off. Then after that, it's really kind of a wash. Italia was was doofy. Uh, it helped me get through uh, high school, high school, high school. High, uh, history in high school a little bit, actually, honestly. Um, then I think I'll give. You know, I'm gonna give your line April. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. bump that way. Yeah, that goes. I agree so with that's you. That's a high B. That's a or high not C. a high B. But high C, C, maybe low. I'd probably give it a low B personally, but um, I, I think like I, I think it is very. I think specific. the hype killed it. If it didn't have so much hype around it, it definitely would be a B tier. Maybe even an A tier. But like just the amount of people who were like, this is a Lego show. I was like, mm -mm. yeah. I think if I were to rewatch your line as, April now, I think I'd like it. As more. a classical fan, it would get a B for me. But if I wasn't and just watching I mean, it as a I show, am, it's a I C. enjoy it. I think that just the story behind it mm -hmm. was a bit. It, it was good, but then they didn't do more with it. Yeah. Or enough. Yeah. Of it. Um, I think after that, um, Helsing. Helsing got. Funky. <laughs> Helsing started off absolutely wonderful and got funky. Funky, <laughs> funky. Wild. I'm going to put Helsing before SAO. Then I think I'd go SAO. How is Gungale there? Gungale. Well, no, this is just uh, Gungale the season two. Yeah. And beyond. Yeah, it's just a C tier. Okay. It's just a C tier. I, um, I guess, yeah. Madoka Magica, again, it was fine. Uh, I think I'd put it ahead of all of these. I think the last one in this list is going to have to be Toradora. I figured you'd put it there. Uh, right. Actually, no. Sinbad was more boring. Um, and then... Uh, That's kind of a fun John. I believe it. Middle, middle. Uh, Seki-kun, Master of Wasting Time, is also just kind of a fun watch. So I'm going to stick that actually up, up here. And then double D tier, I'm gonna put High School DxD because I actually, I actually really liked that show. <laughs> the problem is that it, it's just too many booba. I too, would, too much I would booba. never watch it. Did Did we tell you the story about how I showed? Tell it again, just in case you missed it just or decided not know. to watch it. Yeah. Uh, I showed, I was like, hey, you should watch High School DxD, and he was like, I heard about it. I don't know what it's about. So I showed him the first episode. Now the first episode doesn't have the opening, so it actually started off. Really well with yeah. the story. I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then I went, all right, this does not have the opening. This does not have the reaction I was hoping for. Because I was hoping for the opening to pop up, and then it'd be just like 30 seconds. And he's like, no, no. <laughs> and it's like, haha, anime boobies. Um, but then, uh, uh, so I showed him the next episode. I was like, all right, we have to watch the show. And then you what? I, I think I verbally said, no, 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 and walked out of the room. You just stopped talking. You were viscerally upset. Yeah, no. Because that's just... It is... I hate it. No, I think no. you told me you were mad at him that day. I think you no, no, probably. No, it, if... Yeah, yeah, no. I was not for me. I was trying to be no. like, ha ha, but he, this, this is not a show for... I really don't recommend this show because it's just... It is too horny... It is it is meant for a very pervy audience. You know, even you though are. the show is really good, I watched it as a fourteen year old. Um, I I can't in good conscience recommend it, but it is. It does. It I unfortunately don't. has a really good 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 plot. Uh, Everyone did, know. did this man just unironically say I watch it for the plot anyway? <laughs> uh, oh me. no! Never never, right. never never. Now F tier. F tier, I'm going to have to what stick. The, yeah. the very last thing over here is going to be... Um, what is that? Kato, the right answer. Oh, yes. Something oh, gosh, put it at the bottom. Then... Um, Unless he's a pair of legs. Yeah, no, it gets cut off, unfortunately. Uh, uh, then uh, then uh, after vampire. that is going to be Vampire Night. It's just, again, that shows that show is more just not for me than it is bad. I didn't like it, but I watched the whole thing. Um... Then the rest of these are up to interpretation. I tried watching most of these. Um, I put K on the end because of the ones you haven't watched because you couldn't get through the first episode and the other ones you did. Yeah, this is why they're going to be in like the top of the F tier. Is They're just kind of like, I didn't finish watching them for a reason, but also I didn't finish watching them. Uh, so Evangelion, I got halfway through it and it was just so boring. And it was weird the sexual tension between minors was weird 
Um, K-On tried to watch. It's just too, it's too animated for me, but I, I think I might actually give it another watch and we come back to it. And Made Sama, Made Sama, it, it just, I, both of these just made me go, I don't want to keep watching. So, Agreed. I have more shows. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I am... Oh, yeah! Yes! Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, honestly, we'll just throw Yu-Gi-Oh! in here real quick. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm watching entirely ironically. This is this is for, like, kids. Yeah. Also produced by four kids. Um, the the only way to watch this, though, is the English dub. It is so It is so over the top. The English four kids dub. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the only. That's the only dub. dub. Although I think there that, is an I think there Ocean is a group. non four kids dub that's way better. <laughs> there's oh? there's the Japanese dub, and then there's uh, Ocean Group did do a few episodes. Oh yeah. They also did a few episodes of Dragon Ball, and and Funimation took over, and it, it just. If you can find the ones without four kids, those ones are actually good and like um, kind of more adulty. So, Yu Gi Oh, Yu Gi Oh, truthfully is a C-tier show. I was just about to say, it's probably a C-tier. <laughs> but I'm watching it entirely ironically, and it is fun to watch. So I'm going to give it a... Uh, I put it right next to... Yeah. I'm putting it next to your line, April. Not quite as good, but hey, that's, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh Yu is. Yu-Gi-Oh is what my favorite show... Because I actually liked it more than Pokemon growing up. Don't hate me in the I liked, comments. I, I liked, liked it more than Pokemon. Most people would agree with you. I liked Pokemon more, but I... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! just entertained me more. But I've just unironically been watching through the whole thing. I actually just got a Blue-Eyes White Dragon uh, Funko Pop. So I'm really excited about that. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. I think this is the order that I want. Um, it might change again. And when, I, when I watch more things, I will update it. Uh, let me know if... Uh, what you think in the comments? Should I keep watching a handful of these, or Dragon do you not Ball. care? Did you actually keep watching? Yeah. Did you finish the shows? If you watched, put in the exact timestamp right now. Here, we'll pause. All right. That doesn't really matter. We don't uh, have to actually pause because you hit pause. Um, what <laughs> what timestamp is it right now? If right you, this minute. Uh, well, whoa, whoa. You, what, you just wait. left a comment. Well, guess what? You get to change up your comment because for those of you who are actually watching. What I want you to do is I want you to act like the comments are what L would write in his death note. Uh, what? Not light, but L would do if L had the death note. Who? What would he write? He would probably... Leave it blank. Well, no, he would have to test it. L would mm. test it. And he would probably, probably test, test it, it on... on, like, whoever the girl is that's playing Snow White. <laughs> What? <laughs> the live actions. This is horrible. This is horrible. I'm a horrible person. I'm going to cut this off now. Thank you all so much for watching. We love and, you. Uh, Leave comments. You, share. Like. Subscribe. If you, there's you. anything else you want to see us do, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. <gasps> Peace. Peace.